I hear you now, bro. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. I just had to switch my uh, my speaker. Mm. How you been, man? Not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Not too bad. As good as you can be. Yeah, pretty much. Um, kind of busy, I guess. Mm. That's good, man. Busy is good. Not many people are busy right now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I had like a a little kind of two weeks of of very little to do, which was nice. Got mm-hmm. to take it slow. Yeah. Yeah. You've been uh, doing like a uh, recording of like church services and stuff, eh? I, I yeah. I've seen on your story. Mm-hmm. That's good, man. So that's every week you have something to go do at least. Yeah. <laughs> very tight, tight deadlines. We usually film like um, Thursday. And yeah. then have Friday and part of Saturday to edit. Okay, so it's not live. You guys are like doing. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like all pre-recorded, but they run it as if it's live. <laughs> mm. Oh man, well that's good, man. I'm glad you uh, had time to do this. I, it's it's really nice to just chat with people and like connect, man. Like oh yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, it's actually a perfect day for it too. Like right now, it's like snowing outside. And mm-hmm. it's, just, it's like blizzarding almost. <laughs> yeah. I mean, snow is great. I love snow. Everyone yeah, me too, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bro. I think Tyler is supposed to be joining right away here. Mm. We'll get going. I have a bunch of like, uh, like slides and things that we can discuss. And All right, yeah, cool. Just, just kind of chat, see where it goes. I'm drinking a, drinking a coffee right now. So. That's nice. Are you like outside? Dude, I'm in like a a porch, my porch wow. in my house, and it's so yeah. cold, bro. Like it's I'm freezing in here. Can you see like the smoke? Yeah, yeah, that's why. Like, that's <laughs> it's so cool. I have like candles in the background here to to keep me uh keep me warm. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna text Tyler, see what he's up to. Yeah, he's, totally. I told him we were going. This guy's slow. He's probably sleeping. <laughs> Are we, we going? That? So other than, uh, other than like the church services and stuff, what else kind of things you've been playing guitar and stuff like that? Yeah. Just practicing mostly. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I, I've seen, practice, so. mm-hmm. I've seen some edits you put together, man. That was pretty, pretty sick. Thank you. I like it. I like it. It looks so good. Like the quality, mm-hmm. <laughs> I like yeah. how you uh, edit them into vertical videos. <laughs> That's yeah. cool. Yeah, I'm not a, not a huge fan of vertical video, but I was like, it's going on Instagram anyways, so. I, I really like vertical video, man. Like, it's, like, that's how people are seeing things on their phones nowadays, right? Yeah. It's like, no one's, no one's looking at normal video. Um, like, everyone's looking at vertical. Hey, Tyler. Hello. We hey. made it. We thought, you, we thought you weren't going to make it, man. No, I made it. Where's Josh? <laughs> What's up? Josh is here? I think oh, I don't see him. What? Josh, I, Josh do you what? exist? No. Okay, now I see him. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tyler, do you, to, do you need me to be horizontal? Uh, you know what? You can be what you want, man. You can you, yeah. are you on your are you on your phone? Yeah. Okay. It's up to you. I mean, when I edit it, I can I can kind of I might zoom in really close to your face. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll keep it horizontal. <laughs> You do what you got to do. If you need me to change, I can, though. No, it's fine, man. It's fine. You do you. So, guys, how how's everyone feeling? You guys upbeat, excited, sad, happy, in between? Yeah, all of those. All, all of the those. above? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'd, say, I'd say pretty happy. Yeah. That's good, man. I'm really – I'm feeling pretty good today. I, I went for a run this morning, and I was just, like – I was just yelling at the sky. I was like, man, I'm just grateful. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just like grateful to be alive. Doesn't matter what's happening. I'm just grateful to be here. Come on. I try to have a positive outlook on things, but yeah. What do you, what do you guys do to kind of keep yourself going? Um, find hope during a day, um, not get into those shitty moods that it's so easy to get in right now. If I really listen to music. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it's my mind's off thing. Yeah. Watching shows, movies. Mm. I, I had, uh, I've been wanting to watch um, Lord of the Rings for her forever. And I just never had the time to do it because they're like three hour movies. Mm. <laughs> I finally got through them. <laughs> 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 I, 
that so funny, Tyler? <laughs> because it's just, it is funny. Like you yeah. can, get through, you can just get through things now. It's so like, true. We can still procrastinate, but there's definitely like, you know, a lot of the day you're just like, not really in a rush. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Things have slowed down and it's like, yeah, I was talking about this with some other people. It's like, we're so used to like, go, 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 do, do, do that to adjust to this is like, it's challenging for people. It's like, oh, yeah. it's definitely. So I feel like it's getting easier though. Like as we've been like, I think two weeks like this now or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just about. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, I feel like I've been, I feel like I started doing it a week before everyone else, so. <laughs> You're ahead of the game. I don't know, I'm ahead of <laughs> You're an expert but, isolator, bro. And, well, and <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of things haven't changed, though, for me, because, like, I mean, I've always, well, for the past four years, I've worked from home. So, I mean, and especially mm -hmm. too, like, both of you do, you know, filming and editing. So, I mean, minus the filming part. I mean, all the editing you'd be doing on your own at night, morning, whatever your workflow is. So that sort of stuff, you know, we're, we're not as a group, like the three of us, like super used to like going to an office necessarily. That's true. Um, so I feel like that part was less of an adjustment. I think it was just more like, um, cause like, so I live on my own. So one of the things for me living on my own is like, I always try to like, get out and see like family and friends and stuff just so I don't get like too like on my own do you know what I mean and right. so now because like we can't do that kind of stuff I mean I'm definitely used to being on my own so it's not that it's just not having that option like you know like my sister's birthday was yesterday and like we did like a 15 minute like a video call where we like saying happy birthday, which was so weird because of all the Oh, I bet. Everything. Yeah. And there was like four different people piped in and every person had like three kids and two adults. <laughs> so it was just like 17 people on four streams trying to sing happy birthday. It was really awkward. Um, but like just stuff like that, you know, where it's like those things were like normally I'd have, you know, an evening to hang out with my family. Like now it's like a 15 minute video call, which like, you know, we all understand why we're doing this and what the situation is, but it is sort of like, yeah, I'm curious. I'm curious to just see what the government can figure out when they have those answers to just start talking about, you know, is this like, you know, Ontario published something yesterday saying it was like a two year problem, right? Like they're going to be dealing with this for two years. Right. Well, two years is a way different like game plan than like two months. Mm, for sure. You're and like I get like I'm down to slow down and stuff but like at some point like people won't have money to live me included like mm -hmm. so there's certain there's certain like actual like on top of the on top of the just the like you know everyone in Saskatchewan pretty much makes it through the winter except for Josh loves the snow <laughs> but we make it through the winter like kind of to enjoy our summer right and yeah. we're going to be locked in all summer. Well, I, I think the right mindset for it, Tyler, is we're not locked in. Like, you can go outside. Like, we can go out, do things. We're not necessarily supposed to meet up with people. Um, I, think, I think it's been – I think we just got to take precautions, man, but not make it affect our mental health. So whatever that means for you. I know people are treating it like you can't go outside. And I, I, I personally don't think that – that people should be thinking like that. What do you think? Uh, I think there's a lot of mixed messages. I think like, yes, yes. We're still like pretty stuff, still pretty new and they don't know exactly what's up. But I mean, it's like, you know, you get, uh, you know, even with like the new Austin. So some of the traffic bridges now, like the pedestrian bridges are one way each way. They're like recommending you like, don't sit on a bench or touch a bench or like certain things like that. So it's like, Certain things, yeah, you can go out, but it's like, you know, I don't know. It'll be, it'll be interesting to see because at some point, you know, like even two weekends ago, I was out on a Sunday and there were so many people on the Miwasan Trail walking because everyone had been cooped up for like a week. Yep. I, was, yeah. I was like, this does not look like very good social distancing. Mm -hmm. Like there were so many, I've never seen that many people on the Miwasan except for like at a marathon or something. And I was like, this does not look like great social distancing. Do you know what I mean? 
Mm-hmm. But I think everyone's just trying to figure it out. And I appreciate what you're saying, like, you know, connecting with nature, getting out, like, going on a little exploring and stuff. But, I mean, yeah, everyone's got different challenges, too. Like, my sister's got her kids. Her husband works in BC. Yeah. Like, and, and there's just mixed messages. So, I think, you know, I'm hopeful that the governor will be able to provide some clarity, um, not just for, um, like, regulations about how we can be healthy and stay healthy, but also just, you know like businesses need to kind of get back to work too. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think there needs to be a timeline. There needs to be, I mean, there is a lot of unknown, but people need to have some sort of game plan. Like, okay. But people just don't know. Like the government literally doesn't know. They don't want to say two weeks then shit hits the fan and it's three months. They'd have, remember when it started, it was weeks and then it was a weeks, maybe months. And now it's, months and then he said now it's becoming maybe years it's like it's like it's it's almost like it's like you know it's tough anyway i don't want to talk about all this too much because it is freaking draining shit to just like because it's it's like i mean it gets you worrying right it's like because it's an uncertain predicament and our brains are very creative and we can we we just wonder and kind of lose ourselves in that Mm-hmm. but it's good to talk about it at the same time and discuss how we're feeling and all that. So. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to um, share this with you guys. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. It has been said that next to hunger and thirst, our most basic human need is for storytelling. What kind of thoughts is that? bring into you guys as videographers, photographers, what do you think we as artists should be doing right now um, in this time? Uh, I still think that um, just because you can't go outside doesn't mean you shouldn't, you should stop creating. Um, I feel like there is, even with this whole thing, there's still um, stories to tell, whether it's about it or, you know, like some people have been doing like, um, vlogs about just like how they're self-isolating and stuff like that um i saw like on facebook just some people were trying to do like documentaries about like how how um covid like affects just everything in general and stuff like that yeah Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i agree i think there's a lot of opportunity because we have all this time right now um, and because we're all going through the same thing, right? We're all going through these emotions. We're all going through, um, I guess we're all going through time with ourselves, right? We're all going through a very introspective period. So um, I think there's a lot of art to create there. Like I know myself doing stuff like this has been really engaging and invigorating, having, doing the best we can to bring people together in which way we can and have invigorating conversations. I think this is like really good it makes me feel like nothing has changed. Like we're still having conversations, face-to-face conversations. Um, So that's good creating music um, and yeah, using maybe old footage to, to inspire people and, you know, get people excited for things. Cause I mean, this, this isn't forever. It's just going to be a blip in time. It's just something we're dealing with right now. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Right. I know lots of uh, musicians with having their tours canceled have been, um, like writing music, whether it's like about um, how like this thing has affected them or, you know, just being bummed that they couldn't play their shows, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Here, I'm going to go to a, a next slide here. Ooh. Yeah, this is, I, what I've been doing with these is just trying to do a little research beforehand and just get some talking points so that, uh, I don't know, we just think in different ways, and um, I don't know. It's kind of fun. This is uh, from James Cameron. Pick up a camera, shoot something, no matter how small, no matter how cheesy, no matter whether your friends and your sister star in it, put your name on it as director, now you're a director. Everything after that, you're just negotiating your budget and your fee. Hmm. Everyone's a director. Everyone can create something in this time. Yeah, I think, I think that's important. I think that's uh, like, I, I want to see everyone's expression. I want to see everyone's feelings and vulnerabilities and 
stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know what I have to say about that one. I mean, I definitely, I definitely agree with you. Like, I think everyone has the potential to um, share stories. And I think, you know, people all, you know, just even talking back to your first slide, like people share stories in different ways, right? Like people may just like to tell stories. People might, you know, draw, paint, make music, whatever. Like there's so many ways to tell a story and talk about your inner dialogue. Um, I guess when we think about the people that are drawn to like photography and videography um, and those people that want to like interact with their surroundings in a way of like documentation. I think that's just like a different type of person. And I think like, well, yeah, I don't think everyone has that skill. Like my sister's never going to be a good photographer. Like I've tried. She's so bad. (laughs) <laughs> um, yeah. but, she, but she can tell a really good story right like at a party or whatever like she can really get like mm-hmm. with her just her oral storytelling right so I think mm-hmm. you know like in terms of the you know being a director thing I think it's like there's definitely people that are attracted to this like type of medium and this type of storytelling and this type of you know putting things out there um, you know I obviously talk a lot about social media so I think there's even that added element of, you know, people who might want to make videos or photos. But then I think the, the second piece and that, I guess, talks more to the direction part um, is how do you want these stories distributed, right? Like, do you, and, and I have arguments about this all the time, like, is it meant to be shown at the Remy Modern? Is it meant to be shown in a movie theater? Is it meant to be shown on social media? Is it meant to be shown on YouTube? Like, you know what I mean? Like where, how people tell these stories is one thing and then sort of how they want them put out there, I think is another thing. And I think like dictates a lot of the intention behind things. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I think kind of what I took away from that quote was that we, we all can be directors in different ways, um, whether that be like storytelling at a party or um, painting or drawing or music. We all have different mediums that we can kind of express ourselves and share ourselves. Yeah. And that's, at least that's kind of what I took away from it. Totally. Awesome. Okay. Josh. I got more. There's Josh. Josh chilling. Hey, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I love these live chats, bud. I always have so much fun with these. Um, Josh, this one's for you. Follow your dreams. Figure out where you'd like to be, what you'd like to be doing, and then figure out what you need to do to get there. Dun, dun, dun. So is this a time for that? Is this a time for, I find it really hard to do that right now. I find it like, follow your dreams. I'm like, there's no future. You know, like it's like, to find the motivation to do things and create things right now seems to be tough because it's like, for me, it seems like, it's just like this dread in the air, right? It's like, oh, why even do this? Why even like work on my website, right? Right now, it's just like, do you guys find that? Um. I think I'm kind of the opposite. I'm like, I want to work on everything because, um, yeah, like we're, you know, we're kind of in like a shutdown period where there's no work or there's no anything really. But I feel like um, I just really have a positive outlook towards most things, I guess. That's good, (laughs) bro. Like, you know, there's going to be sun at the end of the tunnel or whatever. Um, Mm -hmm. Like, man, I like that. uh, Recently, like recently I've, um, I just shot a, a, a guitar cover, um, which is something that I wanted to do for like a little over a year now. I just never, never really got around to it. And right, because like, you're always too busy. You're always too yeah, busy exactly. with other things. Yeah, whether it's like taking photos or work or school. And, you know, I don't have school right now, so I have like all this free time. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I, I found that with myself. I'm doing projects that I've put off for years. Like I've never created a reel for my business. And like... 
Mm -hmm. I just started it yesterday. I took all my footage from the last five years, threw it into one premiere project and picked a really awesome song. And I'm just like, I've never sat down and done this because it's like, you always had new work coming in. So mm -hmm. exactly. So it's, right. it's really good right now to like have those things, like learn a language, like learn guitar, like anything. Like it's crazy now because YouTube is like freaking just like a minefield of like whatever you want, man. Yeah, I guess. Totally. For me, I guess right now the challenge is just to like overcome that like nihilism, I guess, of like, oh, like this is going to be for months and like, you know, that, that kind of like, I guess that's like kind of limiting my motivation. It comes in waves, I find. Sometimes I'm a little down and sometimes I'm like, oh my God, let's go. I have all the time in the world. So I guess it's a fine balance between those two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, I would agree. <clears throat> Definitely comes and goes. Mm-hmm. But I think doing things like this and just realizing that everyone else is going through the, the same emotions. Um, Cause a lot of times, you, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll think that you're just the only one feeling it and you can I think that can make it worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, this is from uh, a stoic philosopher, Marcus Aurelius. Um, it never ceases to amaze me. We all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinions than our own. Hmm. This kind of this kind of makes me um, kind of look at creative people and 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 see that you know a lot of times when we put things out, a lot of times when we we share things, it's like we do care way more about other people's opinions than what we care about it. Oh well, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, I don't know. I think. I'm older than both of you. I care less. That's good. Oh, it, it did. I, I, I've noticed that in myself as I, as I've aged like from 20 to 25, like, yeah. yeah, I know what you mean. You do care less as you grow yeah. older. Yeah. It's a weird, it's a weird thing. Like I like, yeah, when I was in my early twenties, I was like, I'd say relatively fit. And I had like no body confidence. Like I was so shy about my body, so shy about certain clothes. And like now I'm like probably in like the most deconditioned I've ever been. And I like just fuck, I just don't care. <laughs> like it's not like I don't care. Like I, I do things to be healthy and whatnot. But like it's right, a, little, right. a little bit more limited now. But I just, yeah, it's weird because it's like if I look at a side by side picture of myself from my 20s till now, I'm, I definitely was much better looking when I was 20, but I'm way more happy and way more confident with my body and my looks now than I was at 20. So I don't know. It's definitely, it's an age thing and it's like, it's just part of life. Like, like you just, you can't like, I can't tell you not to care. You just, one day you'll just, you just won't give a fuck. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's just looking at why you care about it. It's like, why do you, like, it's okay to have like, to kind of like care what people think because it's, it's important. It's important. Like I can tell you why you care about it. Do you want me yeah, to tell you? Sure. Because you're not, you don't know who you are yet. Of course. Yeah. And so yeah. if you don't have the confidence to know exactly who you are, then of course people's opinions are going to matter because you're still forming an opinion of yourself. Yeah. And at this point in my life, there's still things I'm definitely insecure about, like for sure. But most things I'm pretty, like I'm pretty confident about who I am and what I'm doing. And if people don't like it, maybe it makes me sad. Maybe I cry about it. Maybe I get angry, but yeah. like, I, I get it. Like I'm me. Do you know what I mean? Like when I broke up with my last ex, he had problems with me and I was like, like, this is it. Like, this is the package. You're either in or you're out. Like, yeah. you know I mean? like if this <laughs> isn't going to work for you, like I get it. That's cool. But it's like, uh, I'm not changing. Like this is who I am. Right. So mm -hmm. Yeah, whereas, like, really, but in my 20s, I would have been more like, I would have tried to maybe more navigate it and be like, oh, no, I'll change for you or I'll try to do this better. Or, I'll try to do that better. And like, now I just know what, I just know more what my non-negotiables are. And not in a bad way. It's not that I'm not flexible. I just, I have certain, I don't know. I'm just, I am who I am. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds so hardcore <laughs> josh what is what does this make you like think do you feel do you feel you limit yourself creatively ever because of what other people think or you won't release something because you care about what other people think do you ever find that in your creative process uh yeah a little bit um i find that 
I more I more care about like sometimes if I post a photo that I just love that I spent like hours on, like re-editing and editing and re-editing, and then I post it and it gets like five likes. But then I right. post a mediocre photo that I spent like five minutes on and it like blows up. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, like I, I really suck. <laughs> sometimes it's, it's always it's always a refreshing surprise to me how little people care about what I do. <laughs> like all the time. Yeah, no like, one gives a fuck. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you post. Like and that's the thing. Like you're saying, you post one thing and maybe it's just it hits the algorithm the right way that day and it's great. And then you yeah. hit something and you're just like waiting for it to blow up and like nothing. It does. Yeah. Like it Yeah. So I guess we can't view it as a reflection of our own worth and you never should. I mean mm. I mean that's such a trap with fucking social media and like the metrics of likes and shares and views and it's like mm-hmm. I mean, we, we put a big, obviously put a big emphasis on it because that's how we get seen. That's how we get jobs is by getting these metrics up. But yeah. at the same time, we can't let that dictate our creative process, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. So that's a good one. I like that. I thought that would be a good discussion, this one, for that one. Marcus Aurelius. He has a really good... And it's got a cool picture. That guy's that is, got super cool hair. This dude lived in like the year 100, man. This guy was ahead of his time. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's, yeah, some stoic philosopher. I would definitely uh, recommend reading his book. It's called Meditations. It's a very like short book. You can get, <laughs> get it on Audible. Like it, I, one of my favorite books. If you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but due to your estimate of it. And this, you have the power to revoke at any moment. I really like this in these times because, um, yeah, a lot of the whole world is in distress because of an external event. Mm-hmm. But we have to remind ourselves, I guess, of the power to uh, that we can kind of change that and not be distressed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can just make the situation your own in a way. Yeah, I concur. That's beautiful, guys. Awesome. Um, yeah. Well, I, I think a lot of people are in various stages of denial as well. Like, not, I don't want to be doom and gloom, but there is, like, a lot of very real things happening, right? Like, people are really losing their businesses. People are really dying. Um, so, like, I've had meetings where I'm talking to clients and they're acting like nothing's going on or they're talking like, you know, and just to talk about, you know, accepting this situation of pain or whatever it is in your estimation of it, like people like are talking about things like we're just going back to work next week, like it's all good. And you know, I, like maybe, but also like, we just don't know, right? So it's like, I think it's one of those things where like, you know, I think the trick for me is like in terms of, uh, I guess, sinking into the negative parts of stuff is like, you know, being realistic, like taking the time to maybe watch the news occasionally so that you're informed and you're, you know, doing what you need to be doing, but also taking the time to maintain your mental health, whether that's through exercise, getting outside, being creative, whatever you need to do. Um, But I mean, yeah, I mean, I think there's like, I can think of like three people in my life right now that are 100% in denial. Like they're just like, it's everything's cool but not nothing's a problem and it's like mm-hmm. everything's, everything's cool like i mean for all intents and purposes we're staying at home um but i mean like one of my friends who works in the not-for-profit mm-hmm. sector said that she anticipates 50 percent of saskatoon's uh not-for-profits and charitable organizations won't exist next year mm-hmm. so it's a lot of a lot of really cool things in our city that we won't have next year do you know what i mean okay. that are servicing you know different populations so you know some of these things are like I don't know like you can't think about them all day because you'll definitely go crazy but it is sort of like a like yeah there's definitely stuff going on that's serious but how do you how do you then kind of get through that with um you know and I I sort of read a quote and it's super long so I'll just paraphrase it but basically it just basically said to focus on sort of daily tasks as opposed to focusing on the problem at large. So just like, you know, get the dishes done, go for a walk, call your friends, da, 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 like, yeah. and just, 
just sort of look at things step by step and look at what you can sort of be um, focused on immediately. Um, because then if you keep doing that, then each step will kind of like lead us out of this sort of thing, which is the sort of, of hardcore, paraphr hardcore paraphrasing of like a page long quote. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I agree. Yeah, I agree. And, and, I think, and I think that's what I've been doing because sometimes I do slip into that big picture thing where like, I mean, just to put things into context. So like last week I heard over half of my clients cry on the phone. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, and like, so these are things that like, I'm, I'm trying to stay optimistic and I am optimistic because I believe in like the goodness of people and I have faith in, you know, what I have faith in. Um, but there are like a lot of hard transitions that people are dealing with. Um, so it's, it's a tough one, you know, cause I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm trying to stay creative as well. But I also think sometimes too, like, you know, we, like we did the, the live videos every night for like two weeks at nine o'clock. And I was like, I just got to take a chill from this. Cause it was like super exciting, but it was also just like, yeah. There's a lot of interviews. Josh did one. His was the best. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> and, I still, and I still have a list of six people that want to do one. So, but I mean, now it's kind of, I feel like everyone's doing one. Like you're doing one, everyone's doing one. Like everyone's kind of on it and they're making such cool stuff that I feel like, like comfortable that everyone else has picked it up. We're, we're going. <laughs> you know, things, things are rocking. Everyone's doing it. Yeah. yeah. That's true. You guys want to Sorry, take a... Uh, and I don't mean that to be, like, negative. Like, I'm definitely, like, most days I'm, like, super good and happy. But there is just, like, you know, there's definitely, like, some serious parts of what's happening right now. No, for sure. I think it's just um, being mindful of it and not letting your fear of the future overcome you and just seeing totally. things as they are. And that... If the worst were to happen, we'd be okay still. We still have our lives. We'd have to let go of a lot of things that we enjoy, but we're still here. Yeah. We still get to experience life. We, you know, but uh, we're going to take a quick five minute break, guys. I, 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 I do this because Zoom only lets me like record so long. Mm -hmm. um, oh, really? If you guys, yeah. If you guys want to just re grab a, whatever, a new drink or something, I'll call you guys back in five minutes and then we'll go through a couple more slides. No, probably no more longer than 20, 30 minutes, I'm thinking. Okay. All well, right. Sounds just, good. Yeah, five for yourself, boys. I'll phone back. Yeah. Okay, see ya. Hey. Oh, look at that. You guys are back. Boom, boom. Good, cool. How was the break, boys? Oh, yeah. shit. I got so much done. <laughs> I, made a, I made a new website. I, oh, uh, man. You are yeah, productive. I ed edited some photos, took my dog for a walk, took a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you could do that in five minutes. Man, imagine what you could do with all the rest of the hours. <laughs> um, do you guys have this, like, weird, like, sense of time <laughs> where you think – you think everything takes you way shorter than it actually does? I have that problem. I'm always like, oh, I can get out the door, shower, and get ready in like two minutes. And it's like, no, it takes way more than that. The, the clock in my bathroom, the battery is dying. And so it still works, but it's like kind of, it'll go regular time for a bit and then it slows down and then it whatever. So sometimes I'll sit there and it'll like, like I'll be doing something in the bathroom and I'll be like, Oh, I've got 10 minutes and it'll actually be 10 minutes on the clock. But then other times it'll fully stop and then restart. So it's oh my like, God. It was, sketchy. I was, well, I was in there getting ready before this and I was like, man, I'm like, I've got like an hour and a half. Like, Oh, I've got so much time. Then I was like, I think I've actually only got like 10 minutes. And I definitely only had 10 minutes because my clock in my bathroom is totally wrong. <laughs> Dude, my cell phone did that. I had my cell phone stolen when I was in Costa Rica back in February. Yeah. And I got the, got, I had to buy one out there. The worst phone in the world, like over, overpriced, slow as ever. And like once in a while, the, the, the time on the top will just get stuck. So I'm like, it's just like 145 for like an hour. I'm just like, I've, I've, Luckily, it's before, so I've shown up to things like an hour before because my clock just stopped. 
Frick. Yeah. I can't um, believe that happened to you. I'm so sorry. That's okay. It's funny. <laughs> you gotta laugh at life, man. It's like, can't take it too seriously. Um, Tyler, do you mind if I share some of those photos you took? Um, the self-isolation photos? Sure. Okay. I wanted to, I, I think that's like what, I think that's like a really good thing that you did because it, it just showed that we are all vulnerable. It showed that, um, you know, like everyone's going through these emotions. It kind of just brought it to light. So here's some of the photos. I really mm -hmm. liked, I, it's cool that you took these all by yourself too, which is like epic. Yeah, on like a $20 tripod. <laughs> Whoa. Like that tripod is definitely like single use for sure. <laughs> I like how you, what did you say your, your mom commented on these? Yeah, I said, I said, mom, I said, I, I'm working on this project. And I said, like I show my mom all the stuff that I work on usually. And she goes, I don't like these ones because you look too sad. And I said, well... I mean, you know, like, I don't know, like, it is, part of it is sad. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I've lost 80% of my business is gone. Yeah. Like, that's sad. Because I worked really hard to get that business. But in the same time, like, you just sort of have to, like, you know, be grateful for the things that you do have, which is, like, my family and my home and my dog and whatever. And things will get figured out and things will get sorted out. But, I mean, it definitely is like, you know, walking down the street one day and then the next day it's like totally. <laughs> Literally the next day. What I mean, like, just not at all. Like, even I was thinking about like, you know, like I was just in Calgary like three, three and a half weeks ago. Yeah. And like, I don't know, running around, teaching, living life, doing photo shoots, all the stuff we all do. And then it's just like, nope, not anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. I, I think it's just like, it's a gift in disguise, man. It's like our life's being ripped away from us, but we have all this opportunity now to really work on ourselves, become mm -hmm. stronger people. I always believe like in times like these, in times of like, you see it all the time. People come together in different ways. People think differently. People are more grateful. And like, it's, it's, we got to stop thinking of it as a negative thing. It's just a change. Yeah, I mean, and I don't, I don't necessarily think that I'm saying uh, in a negative no, I'm not way. Saying you are. I'm not saying like, you are. Yeah, I just, I think there's like, um, you know, people, people need a little bit of time to grieve loss, and a lot of people are losing things. Yeah, um, I agree. Oh, so, I mean. That's not to say that we're not moving towards something positive and or better and or whatever. Um, but yeah, just a lot of change. And so it's like, you know, I'm just trying to focus on my day-to-day -day stuff. Like I make sort of like my little list of things I need to do. I've been really actually pretty awesome at keeping my house in order. Parker's been pretty good. But yeah, and I'm like, I'm definitely like producing a lot of stuff. I don't know that I'm feeling especially creative, but I'm getting a lot of stuff done. Like my website's never looked better. <laughs> my my Dropbox after completely melting down my computer now looks amazing. Oh my god! I I organized all my files on my computer too, man. Best feeling in the world. Yeah, me too. You know, like I'm I'm doing, <laughs> I'm doing a lot of that type of stuff, but I think other my like minus you know that photo shoot with the stuff that you just showed. Um, I don't think I've done anything especially creative. I've done a lot of technical things, like cleaning things up, um, writing, like, like I said, like the website's gotten like three revamps in the last month here. Um, Different forms of creativity. Yeah. And, and then just, yeah, a lot of video chats. A lot of video chats. Yeah, me too. I love it, man. I, I, it's actually great because I feel like I'm actually talking to people more and like people are being more vulnerable because of this situation. People are just kind of opening up a bit more. People are just like, yeah, like this is rough. Like, so I think it actually brings out like a, a little bit of beauty in people, to be honest. Woo, good smile. I like that. Big smile. The beauty is coming out. <laughs> beauty is coming out. 
I think uh, like this, I kind of wanted to like leave off with something like this, but set a goal that makes you want to jump out of bed in the morning. So what I'm can like you do? Free. I can't physically jump out of bed anymore. Yeah. It's like, it's like a three step process. At three the end steps? there's like, yeah, at the end there's a little bit of cheering, but. <laughs> <laughs> You're good, man. Yeah. I feel so, like I've yeah. noticed a, a lot for me in the last year. What I've noticed is how like the first 10 to 15 minutes of your day are really powerful and really dictate how your day could go. Um, so if we can get like really good thoughts going, then, you know, read a couple of lines that get us motivated, um, and just get to the day. I think, uh, I think that can be helpful for people. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. Right, so what do you think? Is the first 10 minutes of your day the most positive? No way. My, my, I, I need my <laughs> breakfast first. And what coffee. I know you love coffee. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. My you said you can't drink coffee. Yeah, my friend has been trying to get me into coffee, but it's not happening. You're a tea guy. For a hot chocolate dude, we went out, we went yeah. for a, we had a meeting then once and you, you drank a hot chocolate. I was making yeah, fun of you. Yeah, hot are good. They're not, <laughs> they're just perfect. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, I can't wait to like go sit at coffee shops again. I miss that. <laughs> This is the same. It's the same for me. <laughs> yeah. That's good, man. Oh, check this one out, guys. One thing you can never get back is time. Treasure it. Treasure your life at this very moment. Yeah. Boom. Find the silver lining, whatever it may be. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Me too, man. So, okay, so then what's the silver lining for you, like, in everything that's going on? My silver lining and what, I, I, what I've talked to a lot of people about is just, like, that people are really diving deep inside right now Pe by, by force, sorry. People are all at home, and they're all looking at themselves, and they're all reflecting, and they're all kind of looking at everything they've done in their life. It's all kind of coming back up coming up everyone's having like a, like a life crisis so i think it's really good because people are um <laughs> prioritizing what's important prioritizing what's what our values are what our virtues are kind of things like that kind of spiritual things um so i think i think that's my silver lining with all of this personally mm -hmm. What would your What would you guys say is your like Josh? You you're a positive dude. I love how you like you came on. You're like, yeah, things are good. I'm good. <laughs> it's like what? And all because because like like Tyler was said, like there's a lot of people that aren't good. There's a lot of people that are literally like losing everything, and they're just like distraught. People are distraught. I I felt that way to some kind of degree. And so what what keeps you going, Josh? What's your silver lining? Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't really thought about it. <laughs> well, you were kind of saying at the, the beginning that it was just like, you have again, like time to, to work on things, slow down and like get things ready for when things will be back to normal. Yeah. Totally, totally. Yeah. Just like, I don't know, getting little work that I have, um, just like personal stuff, like, you know, updating the website or, you know, playing guitar or whatever. Um, just doing things that I've wanted to do for so long that I just haven't done. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we've all kind of brought that up and noticed that. It just kind of, yeah, it gives you a bit of like happy satisfaction, I guess, knowing that you finally get something that you've been putting off for forever and it's finally off your to-do list. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. no, I agree. Tyler, anything? Do you would like to add? Yeah, like, so I feel like maybe a month or two ago, I had some thoughts about just how fast things move mm -hmm. and how, you know, the internet goes faster and then social media goes faster and then, like, people just have to multitask so much. Do you know what I mean? Like, in order to be successful, you have to be, 
you have to be good at so many things and you have to be multitasking so many things and you have to be achieving so many things. Um, and it's just really like I had just a thought of like, when does it get to the point where like people start like breaking down? Do you know what I mean? Like, cause people can't just function, um, you know, working at the speed that we're working at. Cause just even emails, video chats, all this stuff has really created a lot of um, ease and in, in movement. You know what I mean? So we're like, we're just able to get more done with the tools that we have, but that doesn't mean that us as people have the capacity to be working, you know, a hundred mm -hmm. times faster than we were, you know, 10 years ago. So it's, I guess for me, like when this kind of all went down, I guess my, one of my stronger emotional reactions was just a little bit of a sense of relief that a lot of, the speed that I was at just got slowed down. Um, so, I mean, I don't know, like, I don't know what this means going forward. Cause you know, like for some people, they just kind of think, you know, the premier is going to go on the TV and say, yeah, Tuesday, we're all good. Just go back to work. Right. right. Um, I mean, a lot of this, you know, I think is, you know, people are really thinking about how they want to move forward. Right. And so a lot of this comes down to like, you know, um, you know, what, what we're going to be able to do as people going forward. And I mean, even for someone like, you know, like you, like, you know, the wedding industry is going to be totally shook from this. Oh yeah. Um, because, you know, there may or may not be large gatherings or who knows, right? Like, so if they don't have large gatherings, they're not going to need videographers and photographers there's a lot of videographers and photographers in town that rely on those incomes. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, that's 90% of mine. <laughs> yeah. Like, so it'll be just really interesting to see how that goes. But I think like, like, I guess the silver lining for me is just everyone I think is like you said, just having that, that time to pause and reflect. And even if it's scary and even if people, you know, have a cry about it because they're nervous or they're upset, I think it's, it's, positive that people are just having this time to like reflect on what it is that we've been doing up until now. Amen. I like that. I think we could, uh, can wrap it at that, man. That is yeah, well put. really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have all had this time to reflect and see, look, search. Right. As scary as it may be, as negative as it may seem, be, maybe there's always a silver lining. <laughs> so true. Oh, mm. so beautiful. Awesome. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for joining, guys. I actually really enjoyed this. This kind of got me again, got me inspired, got me thinking differently, um, which is always good. Yeah, awesome. Thanks for, thanks for setting this up. No yeah, worries, it was awesome. Thanks for having no worries, hey. I'm just, I'm just going to stop the recording right now.